everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about the bacterial growth curve. This is a concept that could be tested on the BioBioChem section on the MCAT. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as this helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. The bacterial growth curve is a fundamental concept in microbiology. It represents the dynamic changes in bacterial cell numbers during their growth cycle and provides valuable insight into the growth characteristics and population dynamic. There are four stages of the bacterial growth curve, the lag phase, the log or exponential phase, stationary phase, and death or decline phase. Let's explore each in more detail. Lag phase. This phase represents the period of adaptation for bacteria. The bacteria are actively synthesizing necessary enzymes and adjusting to the environment without significant population growth. Then we have the log or exponential phase. This phase is a rapid growth period where bacteria multiply at an exponential rate. This results in a steep upward curve on the graph. Something interesting to note here is that the bacterial growth curve is an example of a semi-log plot. The fact that the y-axis is logarithmic means that the straight line, as seen during the exponential phase, actually represents an exponential increase in the number of bacteria, not a linear increase. Semi-log and log-log plots are explored in the physics and math section of the MCAT. Then we have the stationary phase. In the stationary phase, the growth rate slows down and the number of new cells produced is balanced by the number of dying cells. Thus, this results in a relatively stable population size. Factors such as nutrition limitations, waste product accumulation, as well as resource competition contributes to this equilibrium. Finally, we have the death or dying phase. In this phase, the number of dying cells exceeds the number of dividing cells. This results in a decline in the population. Factors such as nutrition depletion or the presence of inhibitory substances contribute to this phase. Understanding the bacterial growth curve is crucial in various fields, including microbiology, epidemiology, and clinical medicine. And that concludes this video. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!